What's up guys? Today I picked up the brand new Pokemon Mimikyu EX collection box and today we're gonna crack it open and see what we can get. So yeah, just taking a look at this box before we crack into it. Honestly, uh, I kind of forgot this box was coming out. I know I saw a promo of it um, a little bit ago, probably it would have been about a month ago now, and it was just like the pre-release images. It just showed the packs in it. I think that either the cards were flipped backwards or the packs were flipped backwards. They didn't even have renderings of the promos yet. So this box was like in its early, early stages when I saw it, and it was one of those things that I just kind of forgot was coming out, and the release date just kind of blew right by me, and then I think it was on Friday when the box dropped. I saw a couple people promoting it. I'm like, oh man, I gotta go pick this up. So that's exactly what I did. I picked it up and we're gonna get four packs in here along with three promos and I'll show all those off. And then also to sweeten the deal up and see, you know, why not throw in a couple extra. I did pick up four extra packs, three Brilliant Stars and one Silver Tempest. So yeah, this box is pretty cool. I know on the little cam it's a little harder to see, but this is one of our first little, like regular card size EX cards. Cause we did get in the Paldea collection box, we got EX cards, but they were just the big cards we actually didn't get to see these and I know unfortunately if you're still playing on TCG online instead of TCG live these cards aren't playable on online I learned that the hard way because uh, Tristan my friend opened this box up earlier and tried to scan the code and it didn't work so I'll just let you guys know that there's a little PSA before we open this but yeah it's cool to see the Scarlet and Violet EX promos you know it, it, it we're getting really close end of this month I know the set comes out and I'll definitely be opening up a bunch of it on the channel I'll try to get at least one of every one of the products like the booster box the building battle stadiums or whatever else they're making but yeah this is cool to see and I do like that we're getting a pretty good pack selection here and oh actually there is in the back if you can see it there a Fusion Strike pack. I was kind of expecting the uh, same pack layout as the Paldea collection boxes, but I guess it's nice to see a little bit of a change up. So anyways, without further ado, let's crack into this and let's check out the promos. So the first promo we can check out here is Grievard, and it is pretty cool to see the holographic, and again, back to the silver borders. It's exciting to know that these art cards are coming out very, very soon. Excited to get these. It actually opens the packs up with the silver borders for the first time. And putting Grievard off to the side here, let's get into probably the promo I feel like more people are excited for, and that's going to be the Mimic cute EX card here. Very nice card. I'm I'm just super excited to see these EX cards in packs, especially in English. I have seen a bunch of them in Japanese and they do look really, really cool. A lot of the artwork and the full arts on them do look very nice, but I'm excited to see the English versions of them pretty soon. So anyways, we'll put Mimikyu to the back and I'll quickly show off the big card because again, we know the big cards aren't really the selling point of the box, but it's nice you get them. I'm actually thinking about doing a little mosaic on my back wall back here. It's a little blank, but I think maybe I might take some of my big cards and just kind of pin them to the back. So I have, you guys have something to look at, but anyways, oh, that's enough of me rambling about that. Let's check out the packs we get in here, and it is going to be, like I said, two Silver Tempest, along with, I believe, one Brilliant Stars, and along with one Brilliant Stars, and then one Fusion Strike right here, guys. So a pretty decent pack selection. I know Fusion Strike has not been the, the best of delivering hits, but, I mean, it does have a lot of good cards in it, so... I'm hoping for that today, and then again, like I said earlier, I still do have the four other booster packs, which we will be cracking into today as well. So yeah, let's start cracking packs here, guys. You know, that's probably our favorite thing to do around here. I think we'll save... Yeah, I think we'll just do them in the order I pulled them out. So let's do Brilliant first, and Brilliant Stars, a lot of good cards in here. But yeah, let's talk about Scarlet and Violet. I think this video is more going to be my kind of PSA towards Scarlet and Violet and my personal thoughts and opinions on the set. But I'm excited. I really am. I think it'll be cool to get some of these new cards and the, to see the change of the generation come over. Because I feel like you don't see it very often. It's only every couple of years, right? So, so yeah, and especially with a giant change to all the cards coming, I think that'll be very, very cool. And then behind the Luxio, we're going to have, ooh, a nice and Infernape Hollow. Yeah, the generation is coming to a close with Sword and Shield. And it's nice that they're going to be still putting, clearly, a lot of these Sword and Shield packs in the promo boxes. I mean, they probably printed a bunch of them. It's similar to if you guys saw... In, I guess, the end of X and Y, they printed, like, a lot of evolutions. So, towards the start of Sun and Moon, they just, like, stuffed all the packs, or the, uh, not the packs, rather, the boxes with evolutions. So, I'm kind of expecting them to do similar things with Scarlet and Violet, where a lot of these early promotion boxes are going to have. But that's a weird one. I'm just noticing that we did get a black code card in there, but we didn't get a hollow. Huh, that's a little interesting. Yeah, so... I don't think you're going to be losing out on our Sword and Shield packs. So if you guys are big fans of still, I guess, the yellow bordered cards, they're going to be around for a little bit still. It's not like they're just going to immediately disappear off the shelves. I think it's more or less a thing of they're going to use up the ones they've made. 
and then I think a couple of the sets might get reprinted, like I've mentioned in a couple other videos, but don't think that these are just gonna immediately disappear the second Sword and Shield comes out. Frost Glass, because there's a lot of good sets in here, and I know a lot of the cards are still gonna be playable, so I know that they have uh, still a lot of reason to keep making these cards. Or not making them, but keep putting them in boxes, and especially a lot of people like them, so, I mean, can't go wrong with that. So, let's see on our final pack of the box before we get into little singles I have off to the side. So let's see if we can actually get a good hit out of here. We've only got a hollow so far, so maybe this box really doesn't have it in it, but... Oh, well, I spoke too soon! Look at that! Gapejaw Bog Gold card! Check that one out there, guys. Grab a sleeve for that one really quick. Well, I guess you speak and good things shall happen. We did end up getting a gold card in the box, so we'll put that one right beside Mimikyu there. So, okay, so it looks like it's kind of a typical four booster pack kind of box hit ratio. You're gonna get, like, one or two hits out of it, I've seen. I've seen some people get three, which is, like, really, really good, but, I mean, two hits, or technically two hits, one hollow, and then one gold card. So, I mean, I don't think we can go too, too wrong with that. Let's crack into, which one do you guys want to see first? Let's save, I think we're going to save Silver to the last because I only have one of that. And we'll just start cracking into Brilliant Stars because we only did get one in this box. And I know that Brilliant Stars is a very good set with a lot of good cards in it. And then uh, if you guys didn't see my Instagram post from the other day, you'll notice that Tristan did open a booster box of this stuff. And he pulled it, wild. It was one of the craziest booster boxes I've ever seen. He pulled, I believe it was two alternates, one being the Charizard, and then the other being the Honchkrow, along with a Rainbow Rare and a bunch of other full art cards. So, like, that ratio for me was just insanely good. Maltra's Hollow right there. But yeah, like, I feel like Brilliant Stars is a pretty good set, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what sets in Scarlet and Violet are going to get rolled out, because I've noticed. Because I've noticed it seems like the back half of the generations is where the sets get really, really good. Oop, almost moved the code card in the wrong way there. Um, yeah, it seems like the back half of the generations is kind of where stuff gets really, really good. So, I don't know if it's going to be like a... Maybe that's different in Scarlet and Violet, where a lot of these earlier sets actually are really, really good. And I think at the end of the day, it's mostly a hindsight thing where we're like, oh, this card, this set kind of sucks or whatever. But anyways, on to here. Ooh, and it's going to be nice. A Luminion V. Yeah, because I know like a lot of people will like, um, you know, diss on like Rebel Clash or like, I guess, Sword, Sword and Shield Base and a lot of those earlier sets. And I think it's more or less that the set itself wasn't bad. I think that it's just that... Pokemon will keep improving and improving and improving so that you won't even really everything else before it kind of seems like it's not worth it or not that it's not worth it rather that it's just not like a killer good set but I mean I don't think I can be too too mad I'm I think Sword and Shield has been a great generation and I'm uh, you know it's sad to see it go but I'm excited to the, see what it's going to bring in the next generation clink hang regular rare but yeah I mean you let me know in the comments guys I would love to know your opinions on this if you think that these new EX cards are going to be you know are better than V's and V maxes or if this is kind of a step backwards and you guys don't really like how these look or how you feel about the silver borders. I know I mentioned this in my first video, like ever on the channel where I did the Paldea collections. I just, for me, it's, it's, different, but I think it's different in a good way. I think that uh, they, they do change up enough in it, and I also, I do love EXs, even though I didn't grow up, well, I grew up on the original EXs, I didn't really play it too, too much with the original ones, so I know more of the EXs from, like, Black and White and uh, X and Y, but these are kind of similar to that in a little bit, and uh, I don't know, I feel like just the EX nostalgia is always, uh, always quite nice to bring back, and especially, here's our last code card for the day, let's crack into this last pack of Silver Tempest, and again, there is trainer gallery cards in here, and I don't know if Scarlet and Violet Base is going to have trainer galleries. Now, I know the uh, ETBs are going to come with promos, so that is another thing to think about. Ooh, okay, Radiant Jirachi, and then we're going to have behind that an Among Us, regular rare, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. But yeah, Radiant Jirachi, just leave that one up really, really quick. But uh, yeah, I mean, end of the day, I'll give you my, my, I guess my two cents on what I think Scarlet and Violet is going to be like. I think we're in for a good generation. I think that it's... It's going to be interesting. I hope that they keep the trend up of having like really, really good artworks. I think regardless of what they do with the cards, as long as the artworks are really good and the full arts and the hit rates are, are pretty good, I feel like people will love the set and like all the sets in general. But I mean, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, this is pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.